Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video, but this time we're not on Hypermind Season 4. We're also not on Hypermind Season 5. We're on a completely different server. Where are we? This is RamblerCraft. What is RamblerCraft? Well, I don't have any special branding or anything. This is the server that I share with my kids. And so I'm going to be sharing a few of the builds with you today. Not everything. I'm going to take a little bit of a tour of some of the stuff I've built, and then my kids are going to show me this weekend what they want me to show you uh, and and we'll have additional videos coming as we make progress in our world together so uh, let's get turned around here and jump straight into it i am currently at spawn and you can see right away one of the big uh, builds that we have here and that is the iron farm and i don't have i don't have optifine so i can't do the cheaty zoom key but we've got four villager cells all around a scaring zombie right there and it is providing more than sufficient iron for our needs and all the iron golems drop down through that hole into a special lava bath down below we'll take a look at each of or at that uh, once we go into our little hut right here this monstrosity right here that i am pointing at is a creeper farm and we'll take a look at its uh, drop rate and collection area as well so you can see a few other things looking below the surface of the water see that there was a little bit of an outline all around here it's because we started out on an island that i've since flattened because i want to get rid of all of the grass blocks at spawn and even out to our uh, spawn perimeter if you will so let's let's see if i can take off uh, so I've got spawn marked out, or the spawn chunks marked out, and we've I've made sure that there are no grass blocks at spawn at all because we will eventually have a meat farm somewhere out in the world. But um, but yeah, that's not for now. I have not done that yet. Got plenty of cats hanging around because this is a village, and it continually produces cats. I don't know how they show up, but they just do, and yeah. Yeah, anyway, so uh, we originally had a, uh, this is a hill right here, and I dug into the hill and started building this little hut from the inside out, and then dug out around it, and this is what we have. So uh, let's go in, shall we? And those cats are going to get rather annoying, so let's turn down the volume a bit, shall we? Let's go to friendly creatures just a little bit. Got a bunch of storage in here. Oh, hi, cat. Uh, lots of storage, mostly for things like, not that, right here, books. Lots of books. Why? Oh, I think there's a cat sitting on top of that chest right there, and that's why it won't open. Uh, because we've got a fishing farm right here. Yep. Yep, I've, I've been doing fishing uh, so that I can get these right here. So we haven't set up uh, any villagers that have mending yet, so... Uh, I'm using AFK Fishing. Done some buried treasure maps. And yeah, uh, let's see. Auto bone meal farm right here. And plenty of storage for various things. Nothing too exciting. Just, I mean, standard. If you do a lot of AFK Fishing, you're going to get all of these items here. I've moved most everything over to our main base area. We don't spend tons of time here at spawn. So uh, other than maybe looking at whatever afk fishing happens to bring in uh the reason i do afk fishing over here now is because uh, the account that i keep logged in is within the movement distance of all the creepers that are in the creeper farm and that means that we get this thing filled up fairly well there we go we had another one show up and we've got plenty of gunpowder some more nice it's good stuff so that's not the most efficient it's a passive or fairly passive design. It's the Etho mob farm. If you've, I don't know, some of you may be familiar with that. Some of you may not. It relies on the mobs to do some pathfinding on their own down into some water streams. It does not push them off automatically. And we are at nighttime, so we'll make the night disappear. So that is how to get to the, uh, I guess the, gunpowder for for the mob farm down here 
got access to the mines and then uh sounded like a iron golem just dropped in this is our brewing area and the killing chamber for the iron golems is right through there and i've got another little access point down here plenty of books down here that we're filling up and the iron farm storage so far is right here you may be thinking that's not enough there you're right but if you look over here i've got plenty of iron blocks so plenty of iron for our needs it's just me and my uh, daughter and my son and yeah that's it for here at spawn i do believe A tree farm iron farm i think what we'll do now is take off can we yeah there we go and we will go over to where our main base areas are and my my kids are they're branching out and traveling around the world and finding their own locations but the central area where we're going to be or where we've got our town located is here on a mushroom island so i'm going to take you on well, i showed you spawn i'm going to take you on a little tour of some of the stuff that i've built and you can see one of the things right here. If you look down, you may be able to guess what this is. Okay, we've got magma blocks here on this side. And we've got some floors right here. Yep, can you guess? It's a slime farm. And our storage building right here, see, Rambler Craft. Uh, I built this, and this is in the modern design. It's a design that I had originally thought I would use on Hypermind Season or for the iron farm but that design just didn't come together and it works rather well for our needs here let's take a look at what this thing will afford us okay we've got an auto smelter that is not filled up yet i'm going to be using bamboo to what do we have we got water leaking right there i'd like to know why i'm gonna to have to take a look at that so an auto smelter and it's got 12 furnaces in it. It will eventually be hooked up to the bamboo farm. So each of these areas is going to have a different farmable item in it. We've got all the wool colors. And then we've got bamboo. Right now it doesn't have much because there is no auto bamboo farm. This is just stuff that I harvest myself and put in there. And then uh, sugar cane, same thing. It's manual harvest right now. The only thing that is automatically harvested is the slime balls. Plenty of those, and I've got behind the scenes. If we fill up that hopper right there, it's, uh, I take a signal off of it and then turn off the slime farm so that we don't keep getting slime balls backing up up here. And that's a good thing. You need some sort of shutoff valve for all of these items, and we'll be working that into the design. But you can see what I've got planned for the future over here. Nothing much else behind here, but over on this side, yeah, got a lot more. So, auto blast furnace, furnace, and smoker for just one-off usages, and that should be fed by the bamboo eventually. Uh, let's see, let's go down to the slime farm itself so you can see that. And we've got friendly creatures down because uh, minecarts are friendly creatures. Oh, is it going to work? Nope. I'd like to see what the uh, what the server tick rate is doing, because this server has not been very good lately. Um, it's a lot of tick lag, and the server host has not been as helpful as I would have liked. So, uh, right here, what we've got is the auto shut off. So the comparator turns when that's on. All of these pistons that drop down here are extended. So when it turns off, the pistons retract, and this redstone block comes up to right here, powers this line, and that turns on um, the, the blocks that will cause our minecarts to go. So we still do have slimes that will spawn, and uh, they will leave slime balls right there, but that's not enough. They'll despawn within five minutes and yeah shouldn't cause too much too much lag um if they do if you know if the server can't handle that then 
uh, we've got problems and the server can't handle it and we do have problems which I'm not too keen on so I'm not going to tell you the name of the server host because um, yeah anyway I'm looking at some other options there uh, all that notwithstanding let's uh, see if we can parkour our way back up here how did this go there's some yeah this is interesting so we have to go over here and I can't get in there. Maybe up here? No. I don't know how to get back up there. Well, this is quite pickle. Oh, we go over here? Well, that's interesting. I have no way to get up there. Something non-spawnable that we can use. Hmm. I should have something. Can we get... I need to get up there. No ender pearls. And I have... Oh, this is great. This is great. No blocks. Nothing. How about in here? Anything in here? Uh, let's see. Any blocks... Oh, I'd hate to use some of those. Now uh, let's just um, let's just figure something out. We'll we'll use that. Okay, I've got a haste beacon close by, and can we get right there? No, it's still not enough. Let's do this one. Oh, the fun stuff, fun fun things that you encounter. Okay, there we go how in the world I usually get up here. It's time to make some staircases, I guess. All right, so we've got a bubble elevator that takes us up all the way to the top. Okay. And then we'll come over here, and I will show you where I'm doing all the digging for the farms that we will be making uh, to fill up the rest of the storage area. We're going to tuck it all in under here. Ooh, scary noises. Hmm. All right. So right here is the furnace array. So we got the 12 and should have all of the, oh, what is it? Our fuel will go in here and the items will get evenly distributed by that hopper minecart right there across the top. But, uh, but yeah, and then there's an item elevator that will take the items from here and then put them back up in that chest that's beside the input chest. So that's some of the amenities that we're trying to work into this design okay next up the way we've got this situated is we've got shared territory right here this is not mushroom island it is I believe plains we got a little plains area tucked in so we have to light this area up but once you get over to the mushroom island part you don't have to light it up and then we go into Mushroom Island territory. Again, this is shared right here. And then this is my daughter's territory right here. Okay, she's got some stuff we will be taking a look at in due time once I figure out what it is that she wants to show off. Got some shared territory right here. I've caught a fox. We're going to catch another one and then we'll breed a few more for uh, purposes of auto farming and chickens in particular and and uh was it the sweet berries yeah so we'll see about using them to create a farm but this is my area right here not much going on uh, other than i've converted all of the uh, was it mycelium over to grass i am working on a build right here this is the auto sorting by my zuma games okay I've got a beacon on with jump boost and I have not programmed this thing yet so I'm not really running it and given that the server was causing or was having serious tick lag uh, earlier I don't know if I want to get that running right now. Uh, other amenities here at my base. Let's see let's go through this area. I've got a an entity cramming cow killer thing and we've got some beef in there. But I've got plenty right now, so I don't need to worry about them so much. 
And then this is where I'm putting all the stuff that I'm digging out of underneath the uh, storage area. So let's come over here. Uh, plans for this. Uh, I'm not going to be building this on camera. I'm just, or playing on the weekends. I'm going to build a modern house up here on the top. And then we'll have ways to get down into the storage area down below. I'm going to build a lighthouse over there. And then we'll see what else I put together here on my area of the Mosher Milan. Right in this area, between the paths, is common area. This is where Town Hall is going to be. My daughter's working on the design for that. She's going to build it. And then over here is a shared harbor thing. We'll see what, what we plan on over here. Overall, not, not much planned. Just kind of my kids are figuring out Minecraft and figuring out the different blocks that you can build with and getting increasingly uh, more, more complex in their builds and in their redstone contraptions. So this is a uh, son really got into some fireworks right here, put together a redstone clock for him. So if he does put any fireworks in there, it will automatically shoot them. So uh, we're not going to go too much into a tour of his area right here. We'll show each of these in more detail as time goes on. But this is my son's area right here. And yeah. So let's head back to the storage area. And that's where we will bid adieu for today. And yeah, so it gives you a nice overview of what this thing looks like. Oh, let's see if we can... It's one of the downsides of using level 3 rockets. A bit too powerful. Yeah. So there's the storage building. Let me know what you think. Love to hear your thoughts on this. And love to hear what you would want to see, if anything else, on the server here. We are going to be taking a look at my kids' areas in turn. Showing off the builds that they have. And as we do new stuff, we will come in for some more videos. But let's get turned around here and say thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next Rambler Craft, whenever that may be. And then uh, we will also see you uh, possibly really soon on Hypermind Season 5. Talk to you later. Bye.